In a previous video, we spoke about the Victorian prison that is situated within the walls of Lincoln Castle. But what about the castle itself? Today it houses possibly one of the most famous pieces of paper in the world, the Magna Carta. It is a magnificent and dominating structure that overlooks Lincolnshire and tens of miles around. Today we look at the spectacular Lincoln Castle. As always, if you do enjoy our videos, please subscribe. After the defeat of Harold Godwinson at the Battle of Hastings in 1066, William the Conqueror faced rebellions in the north of England. Parts of the north were still subject to Dane law and under the control and beliefs of the Scandinavian Vikings. To bring the north to heel, William built a number of major castles including Lincoln. When arriving in Lincoln, William found a Viking commercial and trading centre with a population of between 6,000 and 8,000 people. It's fair to say that William would not have been a very popular man here. Firstly, a wooden keep was constructed, but what makes Lincoln unique is the fact it has two motts. A mot is a large hill upon which usually a keep or a castle is placed. Fast forward less than 100 years, and the castle was the focus of the First Battle of Lincoln on the 2nd of February 1141, in which King Stephen and Empress Matilda struggled over who should be the monarch. In 1217, the Second Battle of Lincoln took place with the castle besieged. Following a few years of political struggle, the Magna Carta was then signed. It is from this time that prisoners began to be imprisoned in the castle, of which it would become infamous for. In 1787, a jail or prison was built within the castle walls. It was later extended in 1847. Originally used as a debtor's prison, the prison became notorious due to its use of the separate system. This system was aimed at keeping prisoners separated at every minute of the day. By 1878, after overcrowding, the prison was discredited and the inmates were transferred to a new prison in Lincoln. In the 19th century, however, the castle was used as a site of execution. More on this later. Today it is seen as an incredible castle and an interesting day out. However, it is here where we begin our tour of Lincoln Castle. The main entrance to the castle is through the East Gate. It stands above Steep Hill, which as the name suggests, is an incredibly steep hill. In 1224-25, there were two Barbican Towers added in response to the previous sieges mentioned earlier. You would have had to be remarkably brave in order to attack this castle. Its formidable and intimidating entrance could have an even more sinister purpose. You could create a long rectangular killing space where you can trap attackers between both of the gates. Upon climbing onto the wall walk, you are shown amazing views of the city. In particular, you get a fantastic view of the huge cathedral that Lincoln is rather famous for. This impressive structure was once the tallest building in the world between 1311 and 1548 until its central spire collapsed. Walking clockwise around the walls, you are taken to Cobb Hall. Earlier we mentioned how Lincoln Castle was used as a place of execution and it is on the roof of Cobb Hall in which these took place. The roof of Cobb Hall was converted in 1817 in order to allow the creation of a gallows for public hangings. William Marwood, the 19th century hangman, would carry out his first execution at Lincoln. He would use the long drop technique designed to break the victim's neck rather than to strangle them. In total, there were 38 hangings that took place upon Cobb Hall, many performed in front of a jeering crowd of the public baying for the blood of the condemned. The interior of Cobb Hall may have been used as a dungeon to house the condemned or as a place to store valuables. This building is incredibly dark and cold, making it a brutal place for someone to be held in. We've covered the prison and jail in our previous video. If you haven't checked this out, please do so. In this video you can see the interior of the Victorian male and female jails. Also there is footage from the only separate system chapel in the world. The prison at the front is Georgian, however with a need to update the terrible conditions within it, the Victorian prison was added to the back of it. In here, murderers, thieves and many other criminals were housed. The castle's west gate would have been originally more grand and significant than it is today because it led to the open country. If you were invading or attacking army, it would be easy to wander through the open countryside and this gate would have been your first point of attack. The courthouse shown here was built originally as an administrative centre for the county business and a court of law. It was built for the Lincolnshire Assize Courts. 
These were courts where visiting judges would hear the most serious and major crimes, such as murder. Here judges would hear the evidence, complete with a jury, who had the power to sentence a defendant to execution. Sometimes the criminals tried here were also sent on transportation to British colonies all around the world. The Lucy Tower is a keep which stands upon a mot. This keep would have been used to house valuables or possibly housing for the castle's custodian. By the early 19th century, the Lucy Tower's interior was derelict and this space became a burial site. Those people that are buried here today are those who died in the prison from natural causes, or rather more sinisterly, those prisoners who were executed. This includes a lady called Mary Ann Milner, who was sentenced to death for poisoning her sister-in-law. Rather than face the hangman's noose, she hung herself using a red handkerchief the night before she was due to be executed. Also in this tower, a three-week-old baby is buried here, whose mother gave birth to him while she was in the prison, but he sadly died within the prison's conditions. The observation tower was built upon a smaller mound. The original tower was built around the 12th and 13th century. The quirky turret on top of the tower was added in the 19th century. Rather interestingly, this could have been built because the prison governor at the time, John Merriweather, was a keen astronomer. From this turret, he could gaze at the stars rather easily in tranquility, forgetting the chaos of the prison just yards away. Lincoln Castle has gone down in history as a place of sieges, imprisonment and brutal public executions. Its place as a castle of law, democracy and rights is still encompassed today by the fact that the courthouse is still operational and also that it houses the Magna Carta, the great charter in which sets out the rights of the public. Lincoln Castle really is a magnificently interesting fortification. Thank you once again for watching. As always your support is greatly appreciated. To support the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again.